It was a while back that we'd been on the road all weekend. I'd gotten home on Monday morning about 9.15, and I had gotten my shower, and I had just put my pajamas on, got me a big thing of coffee, and I was going to sit down and read the morning paper just to relax. That morning at 9.30, my telephone rang, and I picked it up. It was one of our local undertakers up, there, up home. He said, Tony, this is so-and-so from the funeral home. I said, yes, sir. He said, Tony, he said, Harris Smitherman's died. I said, I'm so sorry to hear that. I went to school with his girls. I loved him with all my heart. He said, the family wants to know, would you please come sing for his funeral? I said, sure, I'll come sing for his funeral. That's the last thing I can do. I said, When's it, what time is it? When's it start? He said, <clears throat> 10 o'clock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I had 30 minutes to put my suit on, comb my hair, get in my car, and drive as hard as I could to the funeral home. But I got there at 10 minutes till 10 that morning. I made it in 20 minutes. Record time. I went rushing in that funeral home, and I don't know how y'all do it, but back home we got a little room where the family sits before that they're escorted into the chapel to start the funeral. And I walked in there, and I put my arms around Miss Smith, and I said, I'm so sorry to hear about Harris's death. You know I loved him, and she looked at me, and she said, Tony, she said, I want you to know you was always Harris's favorite singer. And I said, well, that's awful kind of you. She said, Tony, she said, he just wanted you to be here today. And I said, well, I'm glad that I'm here. And I said, Miss Smithman, whatever you want, I just want you to know I'm here to be a blessing to you, and I'll sing any song you want me to sing. She looked at me, and she said, Tony, I want you to sing Amazing Grace. I said, I'll do it. She said, Tony, I want you to sing Sweet Beulah Land. I said, okay, I'll do it. And she said, Tony, last but not least, I want you to sing Jingle Bells. <laughs> And I said, wait a minute, Miss Smithman, I don't do jingle bells for funerals. I'm sorry. I said, that's a happy song for a happy occasion. And I said, this is a sad occasion, and I'm not doing it. Folks, I've never seen a woman break down and weep like she wept on my shoulder. She said, Tony, she said, as Harris was laying over there in the hospital dying, she said, he told me just exactly what he wanted at his funeral service and his songs, and you just got to sing it. I said, well, Miss Smith, if that's what you want, that's what I'll do. So at 10 o'clock, they marched the family in. The family was seated. I stood up, and I sang Amazing Grace. The minister got up behind me, and he read the 23rd Psalm. He sat down. I got up, and I sang Sweet Beulah Land. After I got done, I sat down. Another minister stood up, and he had prayer. And about 17 minutes after 10 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen, that morning, I stood over a wooden coffin over Harris Smitherman, and just as sad and as solemn as I could sing it, I sang, Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I looked out of the corner of my eyeball, and everybody sitting in that funeral chapel was going. <laughs> it got so bad, the undertakers got up, walked out of the chapel. After my song was over, they started playing some music, and the, the, the undertakers came down, and they rolled that coffin out of the chapel. And while they were playing the song, I'll meet you in the morning, and everybody followed out behind the family, and the family walked out of the funeral home, walked across the grass, and they were putting them in the limousines, getting ready to go to the cemetery. And I thought, well, I don't have time to go to the cemetery, so I'm going to go over there where Miss Smitherman is. And I went over there, and I put my arms around her. I said, Miss Hazel, I hope everything was all right. She looked at me and she said, Tony, that's the best you've ever seen. <laughs> and I said, well, Mrs. Smithman, I appreciate it. And I just want you to know that I'm praying for you and I love you with all my heart. And if there's anything I can ever do for you, I said, just <laughs> let me know. She said, Tony, she said, I just want you to pray for me because I'm so tired. She said, after Harris died with everybody bringing flowers and bringing food and stopping by the house, she said, Tony, I haven't slept in nearly two days. And, Tony, I just don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I looked at her and I said, Miss Smithman, 
What do you mean you don't know what you're thinking? She said, Lord, Tony, she said, that song wasn't Jingle Bells. What I meant to say was, when they ring those golden bells. <laughs> I ain't never been more embarrassed in all my life. 